Crypto Daily Show. Remember to catch your favorite WLRS Crypto Radio content on Spotify and everywhere podcasts are heard. Hello and welcome back to the Daily Crypto Show brought to you by WLRS Crypto Radio. I'm your host, David, and I'm here again with Dylan to cover the most recent stories happening in crypto today. As always, this information is for entertainment and educational purposes only. It is not financial advice. It's not even advice. Just just listen. Just enjoy oh, yeah. it. Tampa Tampa's on a three day watching streak, I think. Um, today is March twenty seventh, twenty twenty three, and that makes it National Spanish Paella Day. <laughs> so, you sent me some dinner pictures, and I did. it was not Spanish I don't know. Paella. I don't know what Paella is either. Uh, it's some kind of rice with stuff. Right, 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 right. It's it's got like rice, it's Spanish rice with stuff. Um, you know what? I already got this primed and ready here. Hold on, look at this, ready to go. Boom! I have the tab. Got the ready. Jamie can. What is Disco Chuck in the chat? Ooh, hello. Oh, I didn't even spell it right in the show notes. <clears throat> A, A rice, rice dish, dish from Spain. Well, there you go. It's not very. Uh, yeah, but what is? Very, oh, I don't want the day. Yeah. What is? What is Spanish paella? Uh, what is paella? All right, Spanish cuisine: a dish of saffron-flavored rice cooked Ooh. with meats, seafood, and veggies, originating in the rice-growing areas of Spain's Mediterranean coast. The dish is especially associated with Valencia. They do oranges too. That's what I've heard. Look at that. And then we're back to us, huh? Mm-hmm. Yep. Fucking quick, we're getting we're getting the hang of this. A uh, little typo in my show notes. On our bowl, a mention <laughs> goes to International Scribble Day. Did you scribble anything today? Uh, actually, yes, I scribbled quite a bit. We had a we had a big day for a Glacier, so I was taking a lot of notes. All right. Were they were they legible notes? No, no, none then of I, my handwriting's legible. I think it counts for Scribble Day then. Yeah, hold on, I can show you some of my my Japanese notes here, and let you enjoy that for a minute. Yeah, let me, yeah, let me put you on. Let me put you in the premium spot here, and then all. Well, you do that. I'll read the show sponsors. Uh, this week content is brought to you by Warfi, an intuitive investing experience on Binance Smart Chain. Buy a Warbot NFT and let it accumulate rewards from trading bot investments. Learn more for yourself at warfi.games. This show is also brought to you by Vinium Finance. Take control of your money and become your own bank with Vinium. Uh, They are building a lot over there, including NFT collateralized lending and borrowing, permissionless leveraged yield farming and revenue generating services. Beyond simple lending interest, Vinium lets you unleash your capital. Learn more at Vinium.finance. Yeah, I think you need to change your settings. It's a camera setting. You change them. I don't know how to do that. I can't change. I thought I was eating settings. tomato dip, man. Like I, I'm clearly like not in the know here. No, if you go to your camera settings, video settings, the three dots on the left. It's too late now, but next time. And then your oh. um, your Top Gun hatch. So as long as you don't wear a shirt that has some. Oh no! Yeah, is that yeah? Is that it? Is that it? Am I what, am I am I more handsome on this side? You, you sure are, man. I tell you what, this is my good side. I'm not, but you want to go back in premium? <laughs> Put me in premium. So anyway, this is uh, my Japanese notes. Uh, if you can't read them, that's but okay. You wrote I can't them in either. Japanese. No, no, these are the English words for the Japanese. Yeah. Mm, people are swimming. People Kare wa are... oyoide imasu. Or mm. they say like imasu. 
I can't really say. I'm, that is what they I've, say. I don't lose my accent when I speak Japanese, so that's fun. Um, like Binance, Brad Pitt. Binance and a bit of hot water, as they say. I'm still on premium. In the uh, hot tub regions of wherever. If you were going to get in hot water, but Binance is in it. Uh, being sued by the CFTC for derivatives violations. Uh, the C, that's the commissions, that's the commission side of the, so it's not securities, it's the, the, uh, commodities. Sorry. Correct. So they're making it out that, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin is. They said that Binance shirked its obligations by not properly registering them since 2021. Uh, the CFTC has been probing Binance over whether it failed to keep U.S. residents from buying and selling crypto derivatives. And they've got full-blown, like, leaked conversations. Uh, and I don't know if they were leaked. There's there's a lot of suspicion they used the Patriot Act, the Patriot Act to uh, obtain some of these documents, which if you guys are young, the Patriot Act was passed shortly after 9-11. Terrorism. Terrorism. Yeah, to legalize spying on American citizens, and they apply it to almost anything they don't like because they can just say it's financial terrorism. Yeah, uh, but I think there was actually a lot yeah, of the financial terrorists are are sitting in Congress. There was a lot of mention of the Binance was used for illegal like funding of terrorism and shit like that. So mm-hmm. you can apply terrorism to almost anything and then you can justify the Patriot Act, which is why nobody wanted it passed at the time. Yeah. You know who could have used the Patriot Act? Who? The fallen crypto king who owes millions to investors was kidnapped and tortured. Okay. So, so some of these these crazy DGens on on Discord that always say they're going to come and you know get you. Well, somebody did it. Somebody got this guy. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to butcher this name. So get ready, Aiden Platerski led a lavish lifestyle, owned McLaren sports cars and a Lambo. and he even rented a plush waterfront home for forty five thousand dollars a month. Uh, he promised his investors healthy returns of 7%, but of course it all came crashing down and he ended up filing for bankruptcy. It's believed Platerski, who was 23 when his company went under, was abducted by disgruntled creditors. <laughs> and then, like, there's a whole story about it. Um, but... I'm he, laughing, but this could be me. I mean, it's, it's basically most crypto projects during the bull run through the, then when the bear hit, right? So it was like everybody's making tons of money. Uh, and then, it, you know, it just stopped working. You know, the Ponzi nomics of it all. I think, yeah, he was guaranteeing, guaranteeing 7%, but he's only investing. Uh, okay, yeah. So while he claimed that the money was lost in a series of bad trades and margin calls, he's been accused of blowing millions on his lavish lifestyle. Of course, because you don't rent a $45,000 a month home from nowhere, okay? You don't get that from flipping burgers. Uh, It's estimated that he only invested 1.6% of the funds he was given. (laughs) Now get this. Shocker! What do you think? Did you read the show notes yet? No, no, I haven't read it. Okay, don't, don't, don't scroll. Uh, Yeah, let me, uh... What do you think he used as a defense? What do you think, Uh, what do you think he said when... When he got out of the kidnappers and obviously had to go to the police. I, I can't even begin. Like, I just couldn't put myself in the situation, so I can't relate. He used the, uh, I'm a 20-something-year-old kid. Ah, so. That's, that's that's very liable in court. It'll hold up, I think. Rock solid. I'm just a stupid kid. They should have never gave me that money in the first place. I mean, they should right. have. He's right. He's not wrong. Um, but no, yeah, he was he was kidnapped and tortured by by obviously some grumpy investors. Um, so they're working on how to get those those lost millions back uh, to people. This was an interesting one. Uh, painter Lee Mulliken's pioneering 1987 digital art was released via Tezos NFTs. 
When was the last time you heard Tezos block? God, it's it's been a hot minute. I think it's probably since I brought it up last time. Because I had some, some Tezos NFTs floating around. That was like episode one or two, I think. Yeah. I and mean, it's that like I early. said, the uh maybe it was our first NFT show. It might have um, been. But no, yeah, like I said, like Tezos it's very like art art focused. It's not very PFP E. <laughs> Uh, so his physical paintings reside in permanent collections in the Museum of Modern Art in L.A. Uh, uh, the, the Museum of Modern Art, which I think is New York, and then the Los Angeles County Museum of Art, LACMA. Uh, LACMA. Other, other prestigious museums. But the late artist was also an early digital experimenter, and some of his decades-old compositions have been tokenized and released as NFTs. Uh, so on Thursday, so this would have been like three three days ago or so, mm-hmm. uh, NFT art platform Feral File released the Lee Mulliken PCX collection, 12 digital pieces created by him uh, from 1987. So this is like when computer art was first a thing. So we're talking That's like pretty cool. paint. These are OG paint NFTs. Um. And they were made on an IBM 5170. I don't even... Well, I wasn't even alive. I wasn't even alive when when these were made. Uh, the, the titular file format was saved on five quarter-inch floppy disks. And did we talk floppy disks last week? Was that We did. Else? The vending machines. Yeah. Uh, he passed away in 1998. Uh, but now... His artwork will live on Tezos on the blockchain forever. Um, yeah, go get you some. I think they did sell out because there wasn't I was a lot. Say, of there, there wasn't a lot from what. But they, they weren't too expensive. They were like two hundred bucks. So that's a piece of history, honestly. Like if you can go snag one, I mean, it's probably not a bad. Not that Tezos is like the most amazing uh, NFT or. or platform that's like popping off but you know it's got some good stuff on there and it could be uh could be a good play not financial advice especially because <laughs> it's a non-fungible token nft <clears throat> it's not even fungible but go if you got 200 bucks to go you know you could probably get it uh you know probably someone 250 maybe one of those people have some like buyer's remorse you know Give them a little extra XTZ for their. Anyway, way off the rails. Uh, European venture capitalists going big on crypto and DeFi this year. According to a new study released by European investment firm Rockaway X, venture capital investment in crypto startups based in Europe reached all time highs in 2022. With 5.7 billion invested and decentralized finance startups hit 1.2 billion in 2022, which represents a 120% increase from the previous year. It's getting increased. 34 million. Yeah. If only uh, Aiden Platerski had some venture capitalists to <laughs> set him Batman. on the right course. Yeah, VCs are uh, incredibly hard to find, like companies of VCs. Uh... I don't know how to get in touch with them. We've we've uh, sourced everything from private investors. So, yeah, I mean, it's usually like I'm selling my company, and then they're yeah, like, I'll buy it. And uh, then... Some sh- a la Shark Tank, maybe. Uh, yeah, I'm selling thirty percent of my co- of my company at a four point five million dollar valuation. Yeah, when it's when's Glacier going to be on Shark Tank? When's the episode airing? That's a good idea. I bet Mark Cuban would throw some cash at it. You think so? I know Mr. Wonderful wouldn't. Uh, we don't want his money anyway. He's a dick <clears throat> and a Sam Bankman fraud apologist. So he was. You, got, you have he, to be when he has Kevin <laughs> Leary. I mean, he, dude many, was like, how much money did he lose? Oh, it was a lot. So much money. Yeah, he's a chode. I'd be nice to him too. Someone Fuck told you, me Kevin my money O'Leary. Hostage. I know you're listening. He's going to be on the show in two weeks, but I'm saving. (laughs) (laughs) You were saving that for me? It was a big surprise. You ruined it. 
Getting, <laughs> my phone's blowing up right now. What the hell, David? You said Dylan was cool. <laughs> Um, we talked about this earlier and it's been brought up again. Uh, now it's now making its way. I think when I talked about it, it was a tweet from Brian Armstrong and now it's like articles that are coming out about it. But Coinbase wants developers to build inflation pegged flat coins on its new base network. Uh, so Coinbase explained that it is now more important than ever to build an inflation tracking stablecoin that negates poor monetary policy decisions of central banks. Um, so it's basically a like a stablecoin that would actually adjust your bags for inflation. So if seven, if you had a hundred tokens and inflation was seven percent or something, you'd have a hundred and seven tokens instead of the original hundred. Right, because your stable coins are still, I mean, they're all pegged to USD, or most of them, most of the big ones. So when that inflates, you don't, you still have to eat that inflation. And with these tokens, you wouldn't have to. <clears throat> so this quote is, uh, we're particularly interested in flat coins, stable coins that track the rate of inflation, enabling users to have stability and purchasing power while also having resiliency from the economic uncertainty caused by the legacy financial system. That's funny. They're calling it the legacy system. <laughs> well, because it's true. I mean, I know we're, we're slowly moving towards cash being archaic, and we were doing that before crypto anyway. I mean, our gen me and you, our generation ha doesn't carry cash, and we haven't for some time. No, I only carry uh, cash when I got like go through toll roads and stuff. See, uh, we don't even have toll roads in Kentucky. You don't There's have not... you don't have nothing over there. Yeah, you don't have our roads are vehicle fine. Too. Ins vehicle inspections, snow. Our roads, our roads are just fine. Your governments have lied to you for years, talking about all that shit, and all they do is steal your money and they probably spend it on hookers and cocaine. Probably, so you gotta do <laughs> something I'd be doing in the with it. Gets cold. Allegedly, you need some company, <laughs> right? So, I mean, just don't. I mean rebel against your local authorities uh not financial advice not life advice i don't oh, there's do gonna be a big revolution when they ban tiktok i think get... so i think that's actually what's the i think that'll be the first thing that like the zoomer generation would like go to war about so there's uh, like 150 million users on tiktok and it's 44 percent of the country and uh it's gonna get wild it's because I saw a TikTok today. Shocker. Um, it was like they're banning it because social media after 2230 is banned in Utah. Is that nice. real? That's a good that's that's a great law, honestly. Um, it would keep me off Twitter, but I'm I'm literally like not a drunken bar there's raids a second, at 1030 at night. There's a second uh, Dylan out there and he lives in Twitter. It's so consuming. Yeah. But I mean, that's part of what I've been no, doing so for this year, TikTok, so. And it's all about, you know, they want to control. Um, we're obviously done with the crypto stuff now. So if you only came for the crypto, <laughs> we're, that ship has sailed. You missed it. I'm showing uh, off like my talk, seven chest hairs too. Because the shirt. TikTok now. Uh, no, and, and they that showed out. it. They had an example. So like, you know how France is going ape shit right now? That, well, and rightfully so. Yeah. So if you Google France on Instagram, it's like soccer and sunshine and rainbows. But if you obviously search France on TikTok, it's chaos and, you know, all the stuff that's actually going on in France. So they don't have the control that they want, you know, the government. So right. Like, oh, we can't show people doing what they should be doing when we say and they their can't heads... retire anymore. It's it's China, uh, you know, subverting the U.S. government. But in actuality, it's the fact that the U.S. government can't subvert you first. Uh, yeah, they don't have time to media wash it essentially uh, to make it to tell you how to feel about it. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it's insane. Uh, it's, it's and that, crazy that might town. be a reason because like all these happenings that have been happening recently, like because I've been on Twitter, like I'm seeing it in live action. Um, which is great. And did you watch Chuck, any of the um, the the Congress thing for the TikTok stuff? 
No, I watched uh, Moist Critical, Charlie. I watched him cover it. It was pretty funny. Dude, like, what the fuck? Fucking love that guy. What the fuck are they saying? And you're telling me that TikTok is on, can be on your Wi-Fi? Motherfucker, everything's on your Wi-Fi. (laughs) That's who's running your country. Oh, my God. It's It's so embarrassing. It's embarrassing. It's like... It's embarrassing. It's that's, that's like there's no other word except for embarrassing. It's, it, it is embarrassing. Uh, and these are the people making our laws and telling us that crypto is not safe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like how stupid are they on everything else? They're very stupid. Uh, uh, spoiler one, alert. Like, there was one guy. It's like they have no. I don't know what they're smoking. Yeah, boomers. Nothing but boomers running it. And we keep voting for them. Well, I don't know. I don't know what the problem is. Boomer boomers. Um, I, that's all I've got. Yeah, it's worse. It's worse than boomer boomers. This go. <laughs> but like, yeah, there's a guy who's talking about um, like the glasses. He's like, yeah, we scan your face when we're using a, when you use a filter so that we can put like sunglasses in the right spot on your face. Which and I've never like, liked that. I, I will say. And he's like, I, I keep. Well, don't use filters. You're fine. You know, I keep live, this covered up. That's covered up. Live your best life. But some no. people want filters. OK, they Goofy want the face boobers. change filters. And he's like, why would you need to know where the eyeballs are to put sunglasses on? Because like, where do sunglasses go? On your face. Over your, oh, over your eyeballs specifically. So they need to know where your eyeballs are. And it's like they they all unlock their phones with their damn face. Yes. Well, I don't. I'll, that's actually why I got this instead of an iPhone, because you can't use thumbprint scanner on iPhones. It has to be a face unlock or a pin. Yeah, well, you want to live with the real people, Dylan. You can, you can I don't. Out of cave. I made iPhone glass for a fucking year. And... All right, so let me tell you this. Let me tell you. Let me ask you this. When you go through a toll road, do they just send you a thing in the mail? You have like an easy pass? I don't know. We you don't have, have any that. toll roads. So from Louisville, Louisville connects to Indiana um, through Jeffersonville, Indiana, um, right there on the river. It used to be just a bridge. Uh, then they added a quicker way to get there over another bridge that cuts. You can come right from downtown Louisville and straight into Indiana through that bridge. Um, and that one is a toll road. Um, but yes, it takes a picture of your license plate and sends it to the person who owns the registration. Yeah. So, yeah. but I've, I've gone over that bridge multiple times and never gotten those. So I don't know if they just don't catch me or if I'm not up to date on you my use things. that spray stuff on your license plate, <laughs> that illegal stuff that makes it shiny for the cameras. <laughs> no, I'm not that, uh, that far off the reservation just yet. Um, uh, I've just never gotten one. Lucky but duck. if I uh, I know in Florida, the last time I went to Orlando, they had we went from Orlando to Daytona just to see Daytona Beach, and there's like six or seven tow roads. So shit blows yeah, my mind I mean, that y'all just like be paying to drive on fucking roads. Like that's the one thing the government provided for us that like I don't fight. I won't pay for it, but I'm not fighting it either wild stuff all right um we've gone on rambling far enough (laughs) uh so thank you everybody for tuning in you can check all this stuff out on youtube on spotify everywhere podcasts are heard uh you can check it out live obviously here on twitch and we also have wlrs crypto radio.com that you can go to Check out podcasts and a couple extra articles there. I mean, you just you type it in, you'll find us. There's, there's no you can't. You need on. to be showing that website more. You need yeah. to get it out. Uh, I want to see more of that. There. Yeah, I've been I've been putting a lot of stuff up there. Uh, well, start shilling it every time you post an article. Tag me. I, I'll tag you. Start right. tagging me. All right. Good night, everybody. And uh, night, everybody. See you tomorrow.